Light Matica. It's one of the most popular mods for Minecraft, and in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download and install it. Why would you want Lightmatica? Well, it allows you to use schematic files in Minecraft. Basically, it allows you to take things like, well, this crazy redstone contraption here and paste it in your game. Think about copy and paste. Well, basically, that's what Lightmatica does. It allows you to copy and paste things, but also install files from other people's worlds, schematics they've created, and add those to your game. It lets you create schematics and distribute them and give them out to other people if you want as well. It's really, really cool. One of the best mods out there and one of the most popular for that reason. Reason. So first things first, we need to download Schematica. The second link in the description down below, you will find a link to here. This is our in-depth text tutorial for getting Lightmatica, and it goes over everything you need to know to get it downloaded and installed. However, once you're here, go and click on the yellow download button to be taken to the official download page. Once you're on this page, it's probably going to look different because CurseForge has recently updated, and it's going to look like this as of like a week from now. So your Lightmatica page is actually going to look like this, which as you can see is a cool dark mode theme, but the download process is a bit different. So what we want to do is come up here to the top and click on files. Then we want to find the 1.19.4 fabric version, which as you can see is right here. Then come over to the right hand side here, click on these three dots, and then click on download file. The file will then begin downloading after a few seconds, and while it's downloading, how about the miss for our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? You can check out Apex at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex is your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love this Apex so much that we host all of our Minecraft servers on them, and if you want to start your own server, Apex has 24 hour, 7 day a week support, as well as one click mod pack installation. So go check out Apex at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and jump right on in to getting Lightmatica. As you can see, it's downloaded. You may need to keep Lightmatica in the bottom left of Chrome or save it in the center screen on Firefox. You'll also need to download the Mali Lib. This is just a library mod that is required for Lightmatica to work. So once you're here, go and click on the download Lightmatica button or download Mali Lib button, excuse me. And by the way, the link is in the description. Now, the download process is going to be the same. Go to files and then click on the three dots on the 1.19.4 version. Now, unfortunately, it's a bit different because this is the older version of CurseForge, but you would click the three dots that would basically be here and then click download file. Now the download will begin after a few seconds, and once it's complete, you may need to again keep or save it. However, there's one more thing we have to download, and that is Fabric. Fabric is the mod loader that actually allows us to install Lightmatica in Minecraft. So in the description down below, we have a link to this. This is our in-depth guide on getting Fabric. It goes over everything you need to know to get the Fabric mod loader in. Once you're here, go and click on the yellow Download Fabric button to be taken to Fabric's official download page. Again, once you're here, click on the Download Universal Jar, little uh, link sort of download button right there. The reason we're doing that is because this ensures that you get Java installed, get everything that you need for Minecraft mods. I think it's super important to have all that stuff, and that's what this does. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and now we want to go ahead and move Lightmatica, Molly Lib, and Fabric to our desktop. It's just going to be easier to use them and deal with those files here. To do that, click the little Windows icon it's in the top left of my screen, from the bottom of your screen or bottom of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads. You'll have this downloads file folder here. And in the downloads folder, you will have all your files here. Now, if you, for whatever reason, can't search downloads like this, you can also go to this PC on the left-hand side and then click on downloads. See, same place. Move all these files to our desktop here. And then once we are on our desktop, we can go ahead and start off with actually the fabric installer here. So fabric is again, the mod loader that allows us to use Lightmatica. To install it, we wanna go ahead and right click on it, click on open with. Click Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java or if your files don't look like mine, right? They look different. They're different icons. What you want to do is go ahead and download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods like Lightmatica, but also Forge mods. It's required for Minecraft servers like running your own server, plugins, all that stuff. You need Java. And this goes through exactly how to get it for Minecraft. Once you've got Java, by the way, you may also need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer, link them back to Java, and make them work happily together. So feel free to uh, go and download the jar fix after you've got Java if you're still having issues. Nevertheless, we can now minimize our browser and we can install Fabric. Right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK to open up the Fabric installer. Then, once we're in the Fabric installer here, we just want to make sure that 1.19.4 is selected, which it is. If not, you can select it from this drop down box. And then we want to make sure Create Profile is checked, which it is. 
click install and now it's going to do everything it needs to do to get fabric installed nor isn't this wouldn't work as if one minecraft is open two the minecraft launcher is open or three you've never played minecraft 1.19 before you need to go do that with no mods or anything just launch it latest release 1.19.4 to the main menu close out of it and then you'll be good to go Go ahead and click OK on the successfully installed message, close out of the fabric installer, and delete it. Now let's go ahead and get Lightmatica installed. To do that, open up the Minecraft launcher, and then from the Minecraft launcher, we actually want to navigate over to the installations tab. No matter what, just do that right away. So once we're in the Minecraft launcher up at the top, we'll be able to see that there is an installations, basically, section, tab. Right there, installations, I'd call it a tab. When you click on installations in this menu here, you will have a fabric loader 1.19.4. If you don't, make sure modded is checked. As you can see, you uncheck modded, it's gone, you check modded, there it is. Now, if you don't have this, or if it doesn't say fabric loader 1.19.4 under it, here under the title, we're gonna go ahead and click new installations. We're gonna name this Lightmatica, right like so, and then we'll name it 1.19.4. And then the most important part of this is selecting the version dropdown box and selecting fabric 1.19.4. Make sure it says fabric is the first word and 1.19.4 at the end, right like so. Go ahead and click on that and we want to change our resolution right like so. Finally, click create in the bottom right and we have the Lightmatica 1.19.4 installation ready to go. Now, before we click play, before we do any of that, we want to actually get Lightmatica installed. To do that, hover over either the one you created or the fabric installation that was already there and click on the folder. That's then going to open up our .minecraft folder, where you should have a mods folder. But if you don't, like I don't have one either, we want to go ahead and right click, create a new folder, entitle it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Go ahead and open up your mods folder, and now drag and drop Lightmatica and Molly Lib into your mods folder, right like so. Now, all we've got to do is come back to the Minecraft launcher, hover over fabric, click play, and then click play again. It could be either fabric installation, the one you created, or the one that was there by default, does not matter. And now Minecraft is going to open up with Lightmatica installed. It's actually relatively simple to get this up and running. The hardest part is getting fabric. Once you got fabric, it was just some dragging and dropping, really. So here we are loading into the Minecraft main menu. Now, there's no way to see that Lightmatica is installed from here. The only way to see that is to, of course, jump in game. And then once we're in game, we're in Minecraft, it's super easy to see that, sure enough, Lightmatica is up and running. Now, what's kind of cool about this is I just used World Edit in this world. And we can see, uh, well, I created a forest. Quite a crazy one and a crazy tree over here. So Lightmatica pulls up, I believe, if you hit the M key on your keyboard. You press M and you can see all the different stuff. So we have the, you know, schematics. We have the area selector, everything that can be done here. Uh, I believe there is a specific way and specific tool that you can actually use for, you know, using stuff with Lightmatica. But I forget what it is off the top of my head. The good news is I don't have to remember. It's a stick. That's what it is. It's a stick. But I don't really have to remember all of this. The reason being is because I did a super in-depth guide on Lightmatica that's in the description. It goes over everything you need to know, schematics, copy, paste, uh, creating schematics, adding schematics. Everything is covered in this video, and it's in the description down below. It's helped over 134,000 people, so go check it out. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead, and once we're in game here, we have the selection and uh, schematic placement fill replace block paste schematic grid and so by the way i'm holding control and scrolling and that is that is what we're doing so area selection and is this a uh, left click right click i forget so let's go ahead and click that and then if we come up here and we like uh, right click on this tree does it does it work like that i'm not positive it has been a while yep there we go so it does do that so now what we want to do is i believe we can come in and do all sorts of stuff with this m menu now that we have the schematic selected. So we can also plus and minus these here, right? So you can plus, minus, all of that stuff. Uh, so we actually want to plus that out some, and then you would also want to go more on the vertical axis. Oh, excuse me, go more on the vertical axis. And then you can do stuff. So you can save this as a schematic. So if we go ahead and save this as large tree as a schematic, click save schematic. We've got that. And then now I believe we can place this as a schematic if we go into the schematic placement mode on our tool here. So now to load this, I believe we come in here, we can load schematics, click on this, load, boom, and uh, as you can see, well, it's, it's crazy. We can right click on the ground to move it down to the ground, and I don't know exactly how to place it, is it enter? No, I forget how to place it, uh, which, is, which is important. Um, loaded schematics, can we just, can we place it here? Create placement. 
What, what did I just do there? And this is why I should do a little more prep for these videos before I get in there, because I've forgotten how to place these. What if I just fill? Does that, does that work? Right click? I don't know. What if I deselect the tool? What happens? I forget how to place these, but guess what? That video, I'm sure, covers exactly how to do that. So now, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. My name is Nick, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.